Okay, so I'm giving her a child's play. Chucky, to most people. Alright, the story in a nutshell. 80s film, basically a little boy is obsessed with a doll made by a toy factory that speaks and acts and does everything, you know, you'd expect a real life doll to do. Gasp horror to the story. Um, something happens in the shopping mall because some weird, freaky, crazy guy comes in and transjects his personality into the doll. The doll takes his personality, so... Yeah, we've got a psychopath in a doll's body. That's what happens. That's the film. Now on a personal level, oh, that film completely affected me. I mean, when that film came out, it was just supposed to be something funny and something jokey, and everyone found it comical, and you know, loads of kids out there just wanted a really weird looking doll as kind of a companion and a friend. But God, that doll messed up my life. I had years of nightmares. God, um, not being able to watch certain programs, not being able to look at anything to do with that bloody doll. It was absolutely terrifying. But, um, yeah, if I had to rate it for horror, oh, top marks, if I had to rate it for the chill factor, again, top marks. You cannot fault it as a film or what it does to people as an experience. Because I think personally, me, I, I suffered from it as an experience. I, I couldn't get past the film. And I had, oh God, I, I had to see it. I had to see a psychiatrist and everything because I was so terrified. But don't let anyone else know about that. You know, we're reviewing the film here. But it was petrifying. Um, if I had to rate it as a film, again, I'd rate it probably five out of five or ten out of ten or the highest mark possible because it did what it said it was going to do on the tin. It terrified me. Absolutely shocked the shit out of me. And if you're going to watch a film like that, just have blankets and popcorn at the ready because it's scary.